folks, the holidays are meant to be filled with cheer, but with the pandemic, employment shortages and the all around new normal loss and grief are once again part of this holiday season. Tatiana Cash talked with grief counselors on managing it and joins us now live with more. Tatiana? Melissa, that's right. Whether your loss happened recently or a couple years ago, pain is still pain. Good Grief and Hospice of Northwest Ohio had advice on how to manage grief during what's honestly supposed to be the happiest time of the year. Okay, so now we need to, put to acknowledge that it's going to be different and it's going to be tough. The holidays can be filled with joy, but they can also be a difficult time, especially for kids dealing with grief. Dorothy Mockenstern at Good Grief has rooms filled with supportive messages because grieving children have just as hard a time as adults do, and their grief may come in waves over time since the emotion is so intense. When it comes to adults, Marin Simon at Hospice of Northwest Ohio says they should allow themselves to prepare for change. What do you need to do or what do you want to do? And what can you give yourself permission to say, no, I'm not going to do that this year. The experts say holidays are typically filled with gatherings, but you need to learn to say no. Being honest about what you actually do or don't want to do with family and friends is important. And while children may lack the vocabulary to express their grief verbally, keep an eye out for red flags. They say teaching them to ignore, or if you ignore their grief, is dangerous. A much higher risk of anxiety and depression, substance abuse. And they say unprocessed grief will lead to mental health issues down the line. So learning about positive coping is key and it can mean making a new normal. To let yourself experience joy, to let yourself laugh with family. Grief has no timeline. It's not going to end in a matter of three months. It's not going to end in a matter of years. It, it doesn't end because as long as you have love for someone, you will have grief for someone. And that's okay. But if we can find ways to channel that love to another person or another cause or in another way, it feels a little less heavy. Both counselors say thinking about holiday traditions that you actually want to keep or postpone or just stop doing altogether, whatever it is that you decide, there is no one way to do this. But it is best to find support and safety as you navigate a life now with loss. Back to you.